Do you think wealth equates happiness? No, absolutely not. And why? Well, one, I think you have to define what is wealth. I, I'm just going to keep putting this up over and over and over. This is all that matters, guys. Okay, yeah. this is the Gary Cardone truism. This is all that matters. I'm interested in freedom at the most extreme level. Can you have too much freedom? Nah, dude, I want it. The problem is it comes with responsibility. Yeah. In order for me, like I have not been a social figure, okay? I, I don't really like the camera. I look at myself and go, ah, damn, dude, you look old. You look rough. You should have shaved. But if I'm not going to say this at my age with my experience, who's going to do it? Because all I'm doing is complaining. I complained since I was 15 about the school system. Hated it, man. I destroyed eight years of my life. I have been grossly unsuccessful in marriage. Three marriages all fail. Two of them were easy, easy peasy to get out of. Third one was like a disaster. It cost me a quarter of a billion dollars and two kids and like just like tremendous amounts of angst and time, right? And sadness, right? Like, I, oh, mm. so, so I look at all this and go, well, gosh, I made these mistakes. Nobody's going to think I'm perfect. Okay, now do I have wealth? Hmm. I'm a pretty strong motherfucker, dude. I, I, I look at myself in the mirror and go, dude, I am no one's prostitute. Like no one's. I will fuck with anybody if they mess with me. Um, and I don't want to. I'm not an angry guy. I'm actually a really peace-loving, cool cat. I, I would rather a bigger community than a smaller community. Um, I think that's wealthy, dude. I think being, you know, rich, what's rich? I don't know what rich is. I mean, I don't have any debt, right? Uh, relative to the size of my family, I don't have any debt. I mean, I do have some debt. I don't think all debt is bad, but my debt doesn't cost me, you know, 10%, 12%. Yeah. Um, so am I wealthy? Um, you know, I have been very, very... Uh, you want to, you want to know how unhappy you are in life, be wealthy enough or rich enough. However you define that to get on a private jet that can fly 18 people all by yourself with a bottle of whiskey and then fly to Germany on a nine hour flight and see how awesome you are mm -hmm. sitting in a $60 million airplane all by yourself, listening to your own music, uh, you know, drinking half a bottle of whiskey. It, like it'd have been cool to have some people on that plane, you know, it'd have been cool to have yeah. some friends, a lover, somebody that cares about you writing a book. Well, life, I don't think, I think all that money does, it, 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 it will exasperate and expand your mental and your inferiorities. It does not, you can't hide from this shit. Like you get a bunch of money, dude, and you're sitting there like, imagine, you know, you're spending a hundred thousand dollars to fly to, to Europe, right? Didn't have to wait for anybody. You're probably not going to be patted down anywhere. You get on that plane. You're like, wow, this is it, dude. Really? I'm at 51,000 yeah. feet going 600 miles an hour. I'm no closer to God than I was just a minute ago. This is it. Seriously. I can't buy any more music than you can. I can only listen to one song at a time. Uh, I don't have enough friends. You ask Max Kaiser, hey, bro, do you have enough high-quality friends? Hey, I have never heard anyone tell me they have enough high-quality, great friends. Yeah. That, that, to me, this is why I don't understand why people make nasty comments about people that are online trying to do some good. I um, mean, they're brutal, man. You guys were taught your, your behavior is just like, uh, you need to, you need to go back through your, you need some new parents or you needed a teacher that would fucking slap you. <laughs> my, my teachers would hit us, dude. I got paddled when I was a kid and I deserved mm -hmm. every one of them. Um, so wealth to me is enjoying the moment, having fun and not being obligated or indebted to anyone feeling like I'm a slave or a little bitch.
that that and I hate to use the, I don't really hate to use the term, but some of the language is actually that's where we're at now. Like, hey, are you a little bitch or are you a man? These are mm -hmm. questions. Why would you be offended if I asked you that? But you shouldn't be offended. That answers it's either the question true, dude. Probably. It's either true or it's <laughs> not, right? Yeah. Well, it answers the question, I'd say. Probably. All right. Thank you for sharing that. I, yeah. I, I like that. How, how do you define wealth? It's funny because I only later realized how I see money. And I see money as buying time to just figure out life more, kind of like that. And once I realized, you know, I'm kind of at this uh, stage in thinking where I, I love, uh, Sailor has this uh, presentation that was live a few weeks ago, right? Like if you say Bitcoin is true finite scarcity and there's only one thing you can compare it to, and that is actual time. I love that because that is actually how I always saw money. Money is time. Like I, the, the reward you get for putting in time and energy is represented as money, right? And you use whatever you gather as your reward to create space and time to do other things, right? Yeah, that's kind of how I look at it, yeah. And so does it have to be a lot? I don't, I don't, I don't think so, you know, I, well probably makes life easier in some way but also harder in another way because you know you want to protect it and all these things and you already did all this work for it and like yeah that's how i think about it it's just it's time <laughs>